President Joe Biden has had a full day meeting with a key support group and then a full slate of meetings with world leaders attending the NATO summit. But concern is growing as the president is losing support from Democratic lawmakers who say he's not capable of beating Donald Trump or governing, governing for the next four years. Skylar Henry has more on the growing criticism of the president from Washington and beyond. President Joe Biden stopped to talk with labor leaders Wednesday. You support unions, you support working families, you've always had our back. We have your back. Unions have always been a key support group for the president during election years, and he's counting on them again this year. I said I was going to be the most pro-union president in American history. Well, guess what? I am, and I'm staying there. The president then headed to the NATO summit for talks Thank with you. world leaders. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Wednesday morning that the NATO meetings are a chance for the president to show that he is still up for the job, even as he fights to hold on to support from congressional Democrats. Let him deal with this NATO conference. This is a very big deal. Let's, let's just hold off. Whatever you're thinking, either tell somebody privately, but you don't have to put that out on the table until we see how we go this week. But defections continue with New York Congressman Pat Ryan, the latest to call on President Biden to step aside, while other lawmakers have not yet decided where they stand. Well, I'm to take listening that to the legitimate concerns of Ohio voters. Uh, my job is to fight for them on everything. Actor George Clooney, who headlined a fundraiser that raised a record amount of money for the president, also called on Biden to step aside. Clooney penned a New York Times op-ed saying the Biden who showed up at the fundraiser was, quote, the same man we all witnessed at the debate. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. As for former President Donald Trump, he's announced earlier today he is not going to be announcing a VP pick until closer to next week's Republican National Convention, adding that he would like to announce the pick during the convention to make it more interesting.